Hello everyone, it's Scott Omato and in this video I'm going to show you how to prepare older mod files for jar modding in MultiMC. Okay, and so basically we are going to work with zip archives uh, to do more jar modding in MultiMC. You're working with zip archives usually uh, for these old files, uh, older mods. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do it with the Aether because um, that's a common one that people would want to work with. So a good place to get it is from mcarchive.net. And uh, that has some association with MultiMC. If you come on the MultiMC Discord, there's a discussion uh, related to MC uh, Archive, okay? But let's say we wanna grab that. Uh, here's the Aether one up here, you can grab it. And then we're also gonna grab Shock API. Uh, you need version 5.1. Now that's not all the dependencies, but these have some uh, characteristics that you'll wanna work with and that kind of stumble, you know, people stumble with sometimes. All right, so when you've downloaded, here it is, my downloads folder. Uh, you can see that it has a .zip extension. It is a zip archive that you've downloaded, guys. But Windows has this co concept of compressed zipped folders, and maybe that confuses people, all right? It acts kind of like a folder, like if I double click it, I go inside of it. Now I'm just browsing inside the archive, but I can't do much with it. Like if I right click it, I could cut it or copy it or whatever, but it's not truly like a file in a folder. Okay, it's still within the archive. So the best thing to do is decompress these archives. Now, in Windows, you can do it uh, with the tools available by just right clicking on it and choosing extract all, okay, like so. And it'll pop up a window, ask you where you wanna extract it, basically the same, the same folder. Then it'll do it within that same folder right here. Now, you can see it is a file folder, all right? It's a folder now, and now we can work with it normally and do the things that we need to, okay? You can, um, not do multiples at the same time. It'll only do the top one. But if you have a third party piece of software installed, like let's say WinRAR, uh, you could have WinZip or 7zip or something like that. Uh, then you could use a command on here that's extract each archive to a separate folder. Okay. Now notice there is another command on here that was similar to the extract all from Windows that when it has a backslash on the end of it, it's saying it's going to create a folder, but this is just going to do a single mod or single one of those. So we're gonna say extract archives, each archive to a separate folder, all right? Now it's gonna ask us to overwrite because we already have this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete the folder quickly. Uh, again, select both of those, right click, extract each archive to a separate folder. All right, it's gonna go through and do that and it'll do both of them. Okay, now where pe that's how to work with the zip archives. But where people get stumble, okay, where they get, you know, have problems is that this is, you cannot just take this zip file and link it into MultiMC. MultiMC will let you do it. It's not going to stop you from doing it, but the mod will not work. And the reason why is because there are additional folders inside of here. We, we need to get to the level of where the class files are. This is the actual modded files. These are the files for the mod. Okay, is the class files. And then at this level, there may be some other folders associated with that that have like resources and stuff in them, the assets, you know, uh, textures and stuff like that. But we need to get to this level and create a new zip archive that contains just these files. Now, the reason we create a new zip archive is because you can't link a folder into MultiMC. Okay, you can't link the single files themselves into MultiMC, like these all these class files, more than one file. Uh, you need to make a, a single uh, file that you can link into MultiMC, and that is a zip. Okay, you could also use a Java jar, uh, but you know that's that's not common in how we're doing this. All right. So basically, what you want to do is, and you also want to notice that these the names of these folders are telling you where they go in the case of the Aether. So this is named jar, so it's telling you, hey, these are the files that are going inside the jar. This one's named resources, so it's telling you, take this folder, we don't need to create a zip archive for resources, to take the folders itself, and put it inside of resources, right? That's what it's telling us, okay? But we are more concerned in this video about creating the necessary zip file. So we open that jar folder, and then we need to select all of these files, okay? So you can either go up here at home, this is Windows 10, and choose select all, or the more common way is just use the keystroke and say control A. Control A selects them all. Okay, now to do it the Windows way, we just right click and we say send to compressed zip folder. Okay, and there it goes, it creates it. And then 
I normally name them the name of the mod and then jar, just so that I know that these are the files that I'll link into the jar. Uh, then on Windows, you could just cut cut that file, that zip folder, the zip archive that you created, go up that level to the level of the jar and the resources and then paste that. But basically you just need to put it somewhere where you can get it, where you know where it is, but I like to keep the, the mod files together. Okay, so this aether.jar is what we will link into MultiMC. Okay, it is another zip archive, but it is made correctly because it contains just the class files and the folders at the level of the class files. All right, so let's do shock API. Now shock API is a little bit different because it has this bin folder instead of name jar. That's just a naming thing, you know, they're just named differently. You just want to go to the level where the class files are. Now there's no folders inside of this guy. You want to uh, right click, select all, and then you could also do add to archive if you were doing, we'll do it that way. I showed you the Windows way, but now I'll show you the WinRAR way. But you don't want a RAR, you want a zip, okay? Uh, and you'll then you'll want to go through and name it. Um, let's get up here. You want to go through and name it, uh, let's see, Shock API. Shock, uh, it had like an H or something, Shock, uh, some, something like that. I, I don't, it doesn't really matter, but jar zip okay and then you're going to want to browse for where you're going to put it and yeah we'll put it here actually this one we could just go ahead and browse the one level up to download shock api right there and just choose save it, it's shock uh shock a h p i yeah don't know what happened there and save all right yeah Okay, so it should have made it up at that level. All right, so there it is, right there. So those are the two files that when we go into MultiMC and we do a jar mod on something that we link in. Okay, so, you know, here's, we've got a change log for it. I'll update this in a little bit. There's a, there was a new update. Um, and here's a beta 1.7.3. So I choose edit instance on this guy. And then I've already obviously done these but I'll, I'll remove them remove and remove and I'll go ahead and add this to the archive so basically I just want to browse for the files that I have uh, out here in my folder somewhere so add to minecraft jar I would go out and then I'd go to my download section and then I would go to where the folders are right here and then there's the shock api zip so I open it do the same thing here of add to minecraft jar uh, go a folder up to that level and grab it in the aether right there the aether zip and select it and open it okay guys that does it that adds them to the folder or to the jar uh, for multi mc and that's all you really need to do to do the mods but again where people get tripped up is in making this zip archives okay now i'm going to switch to the mac real quick because on the mac it's you don't need all this explanation it's super easy basically on the mac you just right click and choose archive utility or you could just double click on the file to do it and it'll make its own folder if you had multiple selected then it would do each in a separate folder without you having to worry about it and then you just open it go inside here open that select all right click choose um, compress items 222 items Okay, and then it'll make the, the zip folder for you. De uh, unselect them, find out where that is, archive it. That by default it names it archive.zip. And then you could just name that what you wanted, either jar, okay. And then this guy, you just move, you just uh, copy it. You can't have a cut in Windows or in a Mac, there's not a cut command. Uh, we am gonna close that for a moment. And so I just paste it out there. And then normally I just delete that mod archive folder instead of just having to browse back into it. So you basically you just do the same thing here. Go to bend, select all, compress 32 items, archive, uh, shock, uh, AHPI, something like that. And, and of course jar, I'll change that. And then just go up to the folder, up one more level paste and then just delete that okay 
and then we'll name this one jar right there so a little bit easier on mac it because the it's it, although it's not as integrated in the operating system as it is in windows the zip feature uh windows is actually more integrated in the compressed folders it's actually a little bit more confusing on how you work with them uh, again you could probably fiddle around with the contents of these zip folders but it's just kind of easier just to open them up just to decompress them and then work with them anyway guys i hope that was helpful to you and that uh, it clears up all, some of the problems that people are having because guys this nine times out of ten when you fail uh, to install a mod in an older version of minecraft for multi mc this is the problem the problem is you have not uh handled the zip files correctly so if that's helpful to you this is scott omato thanks for watching guys see you in the next one Bye bye